Bonjour, bonsoir, welcome to JCB Live. I'm with the fabulous Danelle for this wine style. Danelle is the JCB mixologist. More ideas come to her mind every day with new, phenomenal, extraordinary cocktails, all creative, coming from all over the world. So let's salute Danelle, because today she will make great cocktails with Did you see that? It was as good as Kung Fu. And maybe he would have caught the cork on the way and hit it. He's my idol. So Danelle, what are we gonna to do today? I need to make sure first that obviously 69. Oh. Always start with the 69. Really? Always start with I the 69. I love that too. So we're gonna do a something really simple to start with. We're gonna do a raspberry mimosa. Um, I love sweet things, so I always like to put sugar on the rim of my glasses. And you're using, again, the beautiful passion yeah, collection. Yeah, always, always. You just live in crystal, don't you? Yeah. You crystallize you, the energy yes. and you just yes. love the crystal of the sugar, you love the crystal of the glass, you have crystal and beautiful Swarovski. God, All what a diamond. Uh, so I put uh, just regular granulated sugar on a plate and dip it in so it makes a nice, beautiful rim on it. This is hard to do the rim. I've tried over the weekend again and I was not as good as you are. So you put quite a bit in the plate, that's the key. Well, right? yeah, you have to. Mm -hmm. And you have to make sure that you go around, you know, completely around all of the edge. I see. So then I'm going to put two scoops of raspberry sorbet it's a sorbet not an ice cream so it's a sorbet big difference for the dilution and then i'm going to add one ounce of chambord which is actually a blackberry liqueur but it goes amazing with the raspberry flavor and with the 69. that's a dessert on its own i know it's delicious Ooh. and then you Pour in the JCB 69. You certainly pour it on top. On top. And that's the last thing you do. Well, there's a garnish. Ah, oh, isn't it gorgeous? Look at that color. Isn't that fun? I mean, I love cocktails for the complexity of the colors and look, the chemical reaction of the sorbet coming up and oh, then more. you have and then I put maybe six raspberries in, and they'll float to the top. Menage a six, JCB 69. And there it is. This is Very nice. simple and very, very delicious. I'm gonna let you try it. It's I, my I first time one. enjoying it. Hmm. That's the aromatic expression, mm -hmm. which for me is everything. You know, you taste with your nose, first with your eyes, then your nose, and look at the different layers of red. Deep and intensity, lighter, and then the raspberry. Mmm. 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 This is a tete a tete drink. This is all about seduction. The nail. What are you dreaming these days to create those amazing, beautiful expression? I'll never tell. Keep them in my head. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe next time we can extract <laughs> from Danelle's head all those beautiful secrets. I'm in love with it. Perfect. I'm going to practice. I want to make it too. This is really fresh. And you know, it highlights as well 69. You really feel the Cremant de Bourgogne Pinot Noir in right. the back end. And you know, the predominant flavor, as you all know, is raspberry and strawberry and a little bit of cassis. So, that red fruit component is absolutely perfect. I love it! Me too! So now we're going to be playing with our wonderful friend, Raphael. Raphael! Because we're going to try this cocktail with... Fried chicken! This is quite something because, dear friends, you probably already all know, but the Scottish brought this amazing, incredible dish to light. It's rare that we quote the Scottish for any gourmet food. Maybe it's not gourmet, but the traditional recipe was actually made within the fat. 
and fry it that way. Today we're going to use another technique with Raphael, which is a little lighter for your body, maybe a little more healthy, but still unbelievable. Needless to say, the American took it over and it really became the 18th and early 19th century phenomenal dish in the South. So let's turn around and go and see our friend Raphael because he is ready, he's been frying. So Raphael, now we turn around after this amazing cocktail, you noticed I took it with me. But Danelle really suggests that bubble and fried chicken are amazing. I just want to make a precision today. This is not Kentucky fried chicken. This is Napa Valley Raymond fried chicken. So we're going to start with the lovely baby we used to like and enjoy the eggs from. We had to take care of her so that we can enjoy her today. So you can see that gorgeous, beautiful, full-bodied and certainly muscular chicken. Raphael, you catch her into the uh, chicken coop yesterday or two yesterday, days ago? Yeah, then with the process. Well, you know, we had to do what we had to do when it's quality, it's quality all the way. Yep, free ranch, I love it. Because we don't keep them cultivated, they run free running, they are free ranch. That's it. Yep. So, Raphael, again, a man of so many talents, he knows how to do so many things, and we thought it would be so exciting for all of us to learn his unique twist on fried chicken. As we all know, from the recipes of the South to the recipes from England, all the way to our good friend Thomas Keller, there's a lot of ways to do fried chicken. And it could be healthy, so we alluded to the fact that the oil yeah. is actually grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil, yeah, we're doing it with that. You can do, say, with vegetable oil, basically. I mean, dark fat would be delicious too. Yes, but rich. we wanted to make sure that we maintain the our six very, pack. very mm -hmm. six. So, well, yours are eight, mine's are four. <laughs> All right, so let's so get going. Let's start, right? Perfect. So, so we're gonna start with by making it the dry ingredients, the uh, the dry for the chicken. So we're gonna start with four cups all-purpose flour. This recipe is super simple. Uh, anybody can make it. So flour, flour, okay. four cups. So a fair amount of flour. Yeah, it's four cups. That's four. for a full chicken. That's for two chickens. Sorry. Two chicken. For two okay. chickens, you can do two chickens in here. So we're gonna do two. Two, yeah, because we're doing two. But so you captured two. two. One, yes. So that means we're gonna have a lot less eggs in the next that. few days. Yeah. We do about two tablespoons of cayenne pepper. You want the spiciness. About four tablespoons of salt. Two tablespoons of onion powder. Okay. And two tablespoons of garlic powder. So if you wanted to do a different flavor and you didn't want to go to cayenne, you want to go to saffron. You could do that too. Saffron, yes. That's yeah. you would add it. You can make it on your own, how whatever you want. Okay. And uh, well, the saffron is just that, that if you're gonna do the saffron, you gotta you would have to make a tea with it, and maybe accomplish, maybe do like a dipping dipping sauce. I with see. It. Okay. Because the saffron is a dry leaf, and mm -hmm. you won't be able to do it too much. I say that because in India, I had the pleasure to try a saffron fried chicken. Uh -huh. And I still feel the taste on my mouth. It was amazing. I'm delighted we're going very traditional And I think, that, you know what, now that, I, now that you mention it, it, it'll be just perfect and amazing. So instead of uh, making it here, so the saffron, you can mix it up with your buttermilk. That's right. And that's... That that's what I was be. thinking. That's the good that, yeah. So and then uh, we're gonna do two tablespoons of fresh cock pepper. And then that's it. We're gonna mix it all up. This is great. Yeah, this is... In many ways, quite simple. Huh? Very simple. Huh. Yeah, so it's um, simple and easy. But it's always in the proportion. Yeah. Which is so important. So that's the dry ingredients. The next step we're going to do is um, cut the chicken. Ooh. So we're going to do 16 pieces in this one. So 16 per chicken. So in my, the same bowl, I'm just going to put my buttermilk in there. Plain buttermilk. You don't have to put anything because you already have the good flavor and your dry ingredients. Did you add the butter in the milk? Yes, I did. 
So we're gonna cut the leg a little bit to the side. That, break it. Ooh, so that, that way it's sitting, it's not moving anywhere. I'm gonna cut a little bit of the, of the wing, right there, one side. You gotta see the joint in there. And cut right in the middle. This is such a great picture, isn't it? Yeah. This is a beautiful chicken. Look at how much meat we have. A lot of meat, though. This wow. chicken is... Joe does a really good job. Maybe you want to come closer as he's cutting the chicken. You know, because this is very nice, Dylan. You know, this is a beautiful education. You're moving? I'm perfect. I'm, I'm close. I'm okay. Great. So now we just put pressure on it. We don't want to remove the bone. This is a bone and chicken, of course, because that's what, it, what all the flavor is in the chicken. So let's remove that, yeah. the carcass. And now we're just going to cut the, this, this one right here, the leg and the thigh together. That, if you're going to keep it, you can keep it attached to it, or mm -hmm. you can just. It's kind of nice to keep cutting right there. Attached to the leg, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this one, if you want small pieces, yeah. again, you cut it. I think it's more fun to have small pieces, it's more, they pieces, make it more yeah. crunchy, yeah. you know, and you can... And this is not big, as messy. huge press, look at that. Wow. Wow, so this one I'm going to cut it at least in three pieces. Did you see? Chum. Very precise. Up. And then, once again, and we're going to repeat the same process on the other side. Same thing with... You know, so we gave them free ranch, a little bit of corn, of course, and grass. This is really like the Bresse chicken principle. One chicken per 10 square feet. So it's very, very important that they have a lot of space and they can enjoy themselves. And you know, in Burgundy, we fanatic of chicken. Bresse chicken is the iconic dish with cream sauce and obviously with uh, mustard sauce or eventually butter sauce or wine sauce. So, you know, we love chicken. So it's very cool to be able to really showcase chicken in a different way with a little bit of Southern American accent. So these will be gonna let it marinate at least overnight. Yeah. So the next, the next day will be ready to go to fry. So th what I like to do in this one, like I said, 20, 24 hours overnight, we'll put this one to the side because I already have some that I marinate. So what you want to so do- So you've been working overnight. I've been working overnight. <laughs> you so, always prepare. So what you want to do is, uh, I like to put them in the, in the flour and let it sit for at least 10 minutes. So the chicken will, in the buttermilk is going to suck all the, a lot of the flour because the fried yeah. chicken is all about the crust. Is it going to get behind the skin as well a little bit? Yes, a little Great. bit. Yeah. So, so it's crunchy on both sides. So this one you see is nice and coated. So I did like, and then it's, it's always good to let it sit a little bit outside so they, so it's kind of getting like dry at the Ooh. same time before you do it. So this is gonna go to the fryer at 375 degrees for at least 15 minutes. And uh, you wanna check the, the breast because the breast is gonna take longer. You, if you have a thermometer, I would suggest to check the temperature at least 160, 170 degrees. And you said 15 minutes. 15 minutes, yes. They'll be ready to go. Look how gorgeous this is. I mean, this is a beautiful picture. You know, I'm always worried in restaurants, the age of the oil, the age of the fat, how they do it. But when you know the process yes. with beautiful grapeseed oil, it could be quite healthy. And it's simple, it's easy, you know. And then uh, for this one, I made a, a little bit of a spicy chutney yeah. with this. 285. So it's going to drop out the temperature when you have your oil set up. You want to like crank it up again. Hmm. So it reach up the temperature again. See. Wow! Oh, so 182! Hot. He's a hot chef. <laughs> <laughs> so for this one I make a, just a quick, a quick uh, sauce. Uh -huh. You know? Look at that. Can I try something? Yeah. Mmm! Mm -hmm. mm. Deliciousness! Fabulous. Did you add an apricot? I did apricot. Mm. I did a little bit of apricot and then I used some of the beautiful stuff that we have from Atelier. So I did the Chardonnay. Uh, oh, one, great. One, one jelly and uh, the citrus. This has a little bit of a Chinese taste. Yes. On some great Chinese food, you know, they love to mix salt and 
sugar. This is really, really nice. So and about a tablespoon of Caliber chili paste. Yeah. So there will be like a little, little spice. balanced, sweet, and, and spicy. Just to, and then and I this is why it goes so well with bubbles. Two tablespoons also of uh, apple cider vinaigrette and delicious salt. So we don't have to wait for that. I have some already, uh, some chicken they already made, fried, and cooked. And prepared. And uh, once Look again, at I this! So you've been working hard. Working hard. I'm going to remove this one for a little moment so we can see. So you just did this one. Yeah. Looks nice. So you don't want to overcook it. No, you don't want to overcook it. It has to be like super juicy and tender. So I did the, this is a part of the wing, the leg. And more chicken. Wow, they look great. And you see, you want to let it rest and let it sit at least for 10 minutes. If you don't, I like my food super hot. Yeah. But you don't want to burn your mouth. Yes, for sure. Yeah, you're being Specifically with the oil. Yeah. Look at that. This is beautiful. So shall we cut a tiny piece so we can sure. judge yes. how it works? So I'm going to do a little bit of sauce in the heat uh, in the ramen so we can uh, honey and let's get dipping sauce, spicy, citrusy, and good acid because I did like I said I did two two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar. Maybe I'll right. use that side because I don't want to take Delicious. I just tried the skin. Crispy, flavored. I sense the cayenne, but not too much. Not too much, yeah. Now I'm going to try a little bit with um, the uh, a piece of meat. You see? Oh, see, see the juice? Just, just to try. Look at how gorgeous. Mmm. So it's opulent, it's rich. I'm gonna try a little bit with the sauce, just right here, and share with our friends what does it do to the bubble. Mm. Love the idea of apricot. Yeah. It's in season, we just harvested the apricots. Maybe peach and then yapino. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's a, it's mm. a beautiful and easy. The balance is amazing. Really easy dish, huh? Oh. Anyone can make it. And bubble and bubble. fried chicken. Love it. Dear friends, come and join us. This is amazing. Again, Chef Rafa, another great moment in history. I would have loved to see him chasing the chicken in the chicken coop. <laughs> but maybe we have a camera, so it's a secret. We are back with the wonderful Donnell. And now, woohoo! We love the sound of the pressure and the energy of the pleasure contained in the bottle like the dreams contained in the nail's head <laughs> and the explosion and the celebration so for the next cocktail i know the nail has secret she didn't want to tell me anything whatsoever but i wanted to tell you a little bit about secret indulgence 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 2016 napa valley blanc de blanc Almost blue as blue as your eyes, Danielle. Blanc de Blanc, Chardonnay, Napa Valley. Very exciting because we've rarely made Napa Valley sparkling wine. And this is coming from one of our Napa Valley vineyards, Jameson Vineyards, which is that beautiful hillside vineyards, giving birth to the best view of Napa Valley, frankly. And you see the north, the east, and the west part of Napa. And Great acidity, beautiful minerality. Mm. Rich, really full of flavor, very different than the JCB 69. So I'm sure the nail is gonna create something very different. The nail, I give you what will enhance your dreams. The secret indulgence. So I put a lot of thought into this one and we all know how much I love vodka. And since we were showing this as our special sparkling today, I thought we needed to do something with sparkling and vodka. So I thought we would do a secret indulgence, Mew Mew. Mew Mew! Mew Mew! You sound very French today. I'm working on it, working on it. 
So the, it's a spinoff of the Moscow Mule, which I think came about in like the 1940s, somewhere around there. And the name came from, because you make it out of vodka, and everyone assumes, you know, when you hear the word vodka, it's, it's from Russia, so that's where the word Moscow came from. And mule was because there, there's a ginger beer in a Moscow mule. Oh, really? And the ginger has a kick to it, so they, they say... I have no idea. ...that the mule is, you know, the kick to the Moscow mule. I love it! Yeah. We are again enlightened by the beautiful eyes of Danielle, and as far as I'm concerned, the great talent, because I oh, cannot wait to taste. Okay, so we are going to do one ounce of the JCB Pure Vodka, mm -hmm. of course. So again, the JCB, grape-based, Chardonnay Pinot Noir, very similar to the sparkling wine, Chardonnay Pinot Noir blend. We make wine, we distill seven times, we filter five times, very gently, and then it ends in a beautiful decanter that is the actual bottle of the JCB Vodka. So, very unique and great density, great rich, richness. And that's the goal, really, and that's why I cannot wait when you blend it as well again with sparkling wine to see it works really the volume nice it's gonna create. Yeah. So then we're gonna do a half ounce of the ginger beer. Mm. You can buy any brand you like. What did you buy? I bought the Cock and Bull, and I think it's... <laughs> it goes well with chickens. I love the name. <laughs> right? I used to be in the chicken coop, chasing the chickens, <laughs> as you can see. So, fried chicken and chicken bull. Perfect. And a half an ounce of simple syrup. Mmm, so there's a little sugar in this one, huh? Just a little bit. I, I actually tried it without the sugar, and it was a little bit on the... The bitter side. Okay. So I thought it needed a little bit of sugar. So then we're gonna do a half an ounce of fresh squeezed lime. Yeah. Your your lime coming from the garden as well. Yes. From the trees. I love those citrus, light, elegant, it is, it's really, it, it really is refreshing, and this all you'll taste. It goes really, really nice together. And then you just are going to top it off with your. Secret indulgence sparkling. It's all about the secrets. God, we are getting into Donnell's heads today. Her imagination, her creativity. I love it. Did you have a lot of secret indulgence wine before the dream came true? Maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe a little bit. I love how she doesn't tell us enough. I know Professor Hirsch is watching. And Professor <laughs> Hirsch, we promise we will share one with you very soon as soon as you give us a visit. But maybe we'll come to Chicago before you know it. I'm coming too. Then we're just going to put a little of a mint sprig for a garnish. Lovely. And that's that. That's your secret oh, that indulgence mule mule. And you're wow. going to need to taste this. Of course. Mmm. Great aromatic. Again, Tangerine, citrus, lemony. Mmm. A miracle. Maybe a dream. <laughs> Maybe I'm becoming <laughs> to dream as you are now. I'm going to close my eyes and I'll be in the Donnell's wildest dreams. Mmm. Love the balance of the bubbles. Very thin, very delicate. Dancing on the back end. Richness of the vodka, great balance yeah. of the sugar, that makes the summer drink of choice. Well, we're gonna have to try it with a lovely fried chicken because, you know, the chef makes it, sometimes he leaves with it, but today there was no way we we're gonna let him. So I leave the Garmin, but I wanna really show you something, Danelle, that I think is magical. So we've had JCB Burgundy Cremant Pinot Noir. We travel then to the beautiful Napa Valley, you know, Chardonnay, 2016 vintage. I feel, and I'm gonna challenge you on this one, that maybe champagne and fried chicken could be one of the best. The ultimate. Could be the ultimate. 
I don't want to be pretentious because you know it so well. You see, this is how we open bottles here. This is the Buena Vista Champagne, blend of Phenomenal Villages, Premier Cru, Grand Cru. This is now a blend of Chardonnay, Pinot Noir. And I want to challenge Danelle of the fact, Danelle, and you should try it with the chicken. It has been known forever that fried chicken and champagne is the coolest thing to have. And I need to confess I've had it many, many times in many great restaurants, specifically in the south of the US, but now even in Napa we have great restaurant who does it, ad hoc, our neighbors of the JCB village in Yonville, to many more, and the two together are quite magical. So I'm gonna take this glass, I'm gonna leave you sipping on your bubbles, and I'm gonna try it. So what do you think of it? I think it's perfect. Pure with a brut it. champagne. I think you just need to grab this and eat it. Eat it. I'm being too shy. Too shy. That's, you eat fried chicken with your hands. <coughs> just like that. It's perfect. <coughs> we'll get you a towel. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice. Your beautiful white jacket would not do that. I love the texture, by the way. It's hard to beat. Well, if you show me, you can beat. do it. It's hard to beat, but mm. I have a little bit of a, I, I know you don't like surprises, and I promise he doesn't know anything about this. We're gonna challenge his mind, actually to see how well in tune. I'm gonna turn around and not no, see. How well, how well in tune you are with me. We've known each other for a couple years. Yeah, 20 years, Two dear years. friends, 20. So I, I, hold on, let me get my thing. This is actually exciting. I have no idea what the nails prepare it. But I'm willing to try, but in the meantime, I'm gonna cheat because Raphael is such a great chef. He makes it always so good. Mm. Raphael told us not to go over 15 minutes and he's so right because look, the tenderness of the chicken, very tender, you know, and that buttermilk, really helps to make it and to you know rest that flesh makes it very very tender oh la, 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 la. Okay. i'm gonna surprise my young ladies and make fried chicken you know napa valley fried chicken or raymond fried chicken Ooh, okay, a nice so bowl. i am all about manifesting your dreams manifesting your reality right so you always you, do well so when I was thinking about drinks, I, I'm gonna manifest something that I'm thinking of that would be pretty awesome to have or... So I'm not see. looking. No, you can look, you can look. So I'm gonna make a drink and I want you to tell me what you think I'm manifesting. To oh, come, I see. To come out of this. Mm. So I'm gonna rim it with sugar again. Mm -hmm. Don't mind the white bow, you'll see why. Well, that looks beautiful already. So, I'm going to put a half an ounce to three quarters of an ounce of blue carousel. So, she's maybe thinking about the ocean. You maybe don't, it's no, you have to wait. You have to maybe wait it's I'm the finished. world of you have to wait the water. Danelle as a mermaid. I'm working on my, you know, thinking process. So, carousel, which I did a little research, yes. is. It's an island which is about 36 to 40 miles off of the coast of Venezuela mm -hmm. in the Caribbean Sea. And the curacao comes from a plant there, which is, do you, do you know this? No, no, I'm listening, oh, okay. I'm listening, it's I'm learning. It's called the curacao citrus, which oh. is a laraja, which is a fruit. So they dry the peels yes. and they get the juice from it. And how does it get to be so blue? Well, they color it blue. Ah. And they color it blue to remind them of the beauty of the sea and uh, around them because the Caribbean Ocean really is this color blue. But yeah. it doesn't mean that that's what I'm manifesting. Okay. So then I'm going to Well, add, that was my first guess. No. The ocean. 
the ocean. I'm gonna add about. Danelle is a California lady, so she knows the ocean very well. I do. About a cup of lemonade, and I'm not measuring, but I think. Well, that's your arm is an automatic of... measurement device. <laughs> I know your arm knows it all. It's like Rafael, his eyes knows the temperature of the oil. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add champagne. Ooh. I love those moments of silence. I love this. Where you observe the transformation. Okay. Turquoise beauty. So taste it. I cannot. I'm emotionally transformed. <laughs> mm, I'm in Danelle's heads. And I'm dreaming the beautiful Tahitian ocean on the opposite side of Curaçao. I'm imagining the Nell coming out as a mermaid from that ocean <laughs> and holding hands to a mate that is another mermaid and then kissing in the sand and dreaming about the horizon of the future. I think I'll start manifesting that. That's not what I was manifesting, but that sounds a little bit better, actually. Mm. Delicious. So unexpected. Wow. Dear friends, this is absolutely insane because not so hard to do, in fact. No, no. Very simple. And I love the fact that there's no need of a shaker. There's no need of all those things. It's a lot of natural. Did you figure it out? Well, I just described it. Wow. That sounded better than what I was manifesting. So what, what comes in a light blue turquoise the, box yes. with maybe a white ribbon on it? Yeah, but you don't want to be engaged with a Tiffany ring. I, don't, I didn't say I wanted the ringer to be engaged. Oh, good. I didn't want to go there because I'm very overly protective. So whoever wants to get close to Donnell, just give me a call and we can make some arrangements. But it's very, very selective process. <laughs> So we'll Was call, it the box, we'll of course? We'll call it the Tiffany Mimosa. No, we'll call it the Danelle Mimosa. Okay. I think it's so much more charming. But I love it. Yes. This is so cool, dear friends. And maybe another bite? Bite. With it. Mmm. Again, citrus. The citrus together, the flavors together work very well as well. So now you've proven to me that Napa fried chicken from Raymond Vineyards do not have just to be paired with bubbles pure. Whether it's Burgundy, Napa Valley or Champagne, we can make cocktail with it. All day long. All day long. All day long. JCB Live, Danelle, our mixologist, and Raphael, our incredible chef. We cannot wait to prepare it for you.